What's going on? Today we're going to tie a blowtorch and this is what it looks like. Shout out to my four subscribers. We're taking over the internet, dog. Over one city at a time. Anyway, uh, size 12 falling mill jig force hook matched with a 3.3 millimeter bead. If it's a 3.2, it's never going to work. Um, anyway, great pattern. Tie it in a 12, 10, down to a uh, 16. 0.020 uh, lead. I'm gonna come in here and do four or five wraps right behind the bead. I'm gonna pack it up. Bang. So we're in there. Uh, some fluorescent pink thread and uh, 70 denier. This is UTC. Uh, this pattern, um, I like to use these size 12s as a point fly on a check rig. It's a great dropper. Um, here in northern New Mexico, down the Rio Grande or over the border in Colorado, um, the rivers are the currents are pretty complex, so I like a little bit heavier of a fly to get down through that. So now that we have a good thread base, I'm just going to advance the thread back to where the barb should be, and I plan on doing some more something different other than tying videos. I'm just doing these now because they're quick and easy like Sunday morning allegedly so where the tag is going to be this glow bright floss this is shade number two so I just cut a piece um, and I want about four I want I'd want four strands for a size 12 you can use like three for the smaller ones um, and we're just going to come here and right where we stop build this up And that's that's it. I mean, there's really this. There's not a lot to this fly. Um, it's a great guide fly, and um, it's easy to tie, and it it works. Trust me. So put your scissors against the bend of the hook, and then just trim. So there's your tag. And what's nice if you do that is you're gonna have consistent. Um, you're gonna have consistent tails in your box. So at night, when you stare at them all in a row like a psychopath and read them bedtime stories, you can feel good about them yourself. Or they can feel good about themselves. It's 2018. Just be who you are. Be that well. So next, Ice Dub Peacock Black. The secret ingredient, the glue that holds this all together. All right, we're gonna do is just twist this up in the original pattern, they use like a mylar rib and then they counter wrap it with mono. Uh, if I didn't lose so many of these, I would do that, but I just, I want these done fast. This is like the McDonald's, this is like a McDouble. I just want to mass produce these. So twist that up, kind of keep that rope nice and even. And then we're going to just wrap it, we're going to advance it forward. And then I'll show you how I like to do my collars on these flies. My buddy Anthony showed me a really cool technique for working with CDC, and I can't wait to share it with all 10 people that watch this. So, just come back in here, kind of tighten that up a little bit, and we're going to just work it, work it out. I'm going to get P90X on this, about to just flex, flex on these trout, or carp, or suckers, whatever you want to catch. I'm not a speciesist. Alright, so didn't have enough dubbing, no biggie. I just added some more. Advance, and now I have this nice taper to the body. If you don't have that, it really doesn't matter. Um, trout aren't picky. So, well, they are. Or they're not. That's a different topic. So, what we are going to focus on is a dubbing loop. So, got your thread hanging down, pull your finger back towards yourself, keep that tension, and wrap towards yourself with the bobbin. And then you're going to come under the dubbing loop and back up over. And so now you see I have a loop. And so this is what we're going to do. So for the collar, rather than just palmering a CDC feather, which after a few fish, if you've ever tied them like that, the stem will break. Um, and then you just got to pull it out and fish the fly without a collar. This is nice by using an, an oiler puff. Uh, shout out Anthony again for blessing me with the sacred knowledge. So this is an oiler puff. What's nice with these are all these feathers are pretty consistent, so you don't have to spend forever kind of finding the right one. Um, so you're going to grab a, a puff, and 
but I like to kind of keep it wide so when we you're gonna see what we do here but um, you kind of want to flare it out a little bit but keep the tips even and you're gonna open up the dubbing loop and you're gonna put it so the tips pretty much hit the bend of the hook so once that's in there um, take your dubbing hook whirly gig whatever you have I'm just gonna pull some of these feathers in there it does like I said it doesn't if the trout don't want to eat this then just go fish somewhere else with dumber fish so there you go and then we're just gonna come in and trim as close to the thread as we can so I'm just gonna trim trim little trimage that's French for trim I'm trilingual all right back in there so we're just gonna give it a spin and you can see it's twisting the threads twisting in on itself and it's creating like a hackle with the uh, that's a, a hackle with the CDC feather there. so just preen that back so and then all you're gonna do is just treat this like it was a CDC feather so come back here kind of push them back wrap and look at that 360 degrees of coverage if it's not if it's like 270 <laughs> I mean just go home because the fish aren't gonna eat this these fish, these fish watch these YouTube videos with, with all, all six people that'll see this. So just trim that. Um, like it doesn't have to be perfect. If you're not having fun, you're really doing this wrong. Um, it'll take you a couple tries, maybe with that dubbing loop. But other than that, the the fly is pretty simple. So right there, you're done. And um, I just like to get all up in it with some Loctite for some security. So just kind of hit the thread. Oop. Oh shoot. It's all right. Just breathe. Let's let's push out all the negative energy. So I'll just come back here, kind of get to where that super glue's off the thread. So when I whip finish, um, it doesn't uh, damage or, or the so it doesn't stick when I come to do the whip finish. So just come back in here, just a little three turn whip finish. Pull tight and pat yourself on the back because you're a rock star. You just tied a blowtorch. And there you go. You did it.